This is tutorial 14, how to create and laser engrave a 3D sample. To begin in today's lesson, we're going to want to set our plate size. Our origin selection set to upper left is OK. Um, we'll want to set our orientation to landscape. And we'll leave our width and height set at 5 inches respectively. And we can go ahead and click OK. So now we're going to want to enter some text. So we'll go to our text tools and select frame text compose. Um, we'll use the font Arial, and everything else looks okay. So we're going to want to enter CAD link, and having done that, we can click outside the plate area. Now we're going to want to go to the transform menu and select render contour bitmap, and we can set our DPI to 300, and click OK. Now we'll want to go to the tone reproduction curve icon up here, and double click on that. And we're just going to want to left click the nubs on either end here, and we're just going to want to invert them. And we can go ahead and click OK and click Apply. Um, the other method to, uh, to invert is to go to Image, uh, select Color Adjustment, and choose Invert. So with that done, um, we're going to want to double click on the text, which opens this toolbar at the top. We we'll want to select Palette, which opens up the image palette, and then we're going to want to go to the top left, and we're going to want to left click on the black square while holding down the control button. And then we'll want to click Close, and we'll want to click Close. And now our file is ready to be output, so we'll want to go File, we'll select Print. Uh, we'll want to check the preferences for a Venus printer today, so we'll click on the Preferences tab. We'll want to ensure that plate area and print is shown on screen are selected, and they are, so we can go back and click on Printer. And now we're going to want to enter the Venus setup, so click on the Setup button. Uh, we'll want to make sure that the mode setting is set to 3D mode, and then we're going to want to set the power and speed settings for our black color. So for today, we'll set them at 50 and 50 and you'll just want to make sure that the raster box is checked and having done that you can click OK and just double check that the print preview window box has a check in it and you can click OK again and that takes us to the print preview screen and the file looks alright and is ready to be output so you can just go ahead and click print and that brings us to the end of this tutorial